until she eventually just shoves it into a jar because she can't get it into mm -hmm. the basket. It wouldn't fit in a jar. Mm -mm. It wouldn't fit in a jar. You would need. You just need to kill it. That's that's a, that's a mm -hmm. kill it, and that's food. Mm -hmm. Kill it and start a fire. Yeah. Oh. It is enough to do with her claws, so she just cuts it until it stops moving. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. All okay, right. um, I, I managed to get one that's not bite size. Um, is it good? I don't know what it is. Is it good? It's good enough. It'll be good enough for food. Wait, <laughs> I see that fish. <laughs> uh, just, do I know what type of fish that is? Probably not. I'll just blink. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is either, but it's... Maybe, hopefully it's tasty and not poisonous. It's big, so that usually means good, right? Mm-hmm. Larger fish are not usually venomous or poisonous. While that's happening, Finn has caught themselves to bath themselves, which Ruby instantly just zooms in on and glares. Uh, we do need to eat some of these. She glares harder. You, you know the food. She she's, has flames flickering on her mouth. Like, oh, just okay. Plus, into the water as one more fish joins the horde. You can't be intimidated by her every time. She's having a good time, like you said, and. I don't know why she's obsessed with Bass all of a sudden, but there she is. I I mean, one of them. It's Ruby. Mm -hmm. I just look over at Ruby doing this, and I just look at Finn, I shake my head, and I look over at Ruby. If I catch one, it's going to already be dead, so we're eating it. There's five normal Bass fish there, and one Draconic in the middle. She, there's so many Bass that have been caught. That have just gone over to her. I just look over there at that and I was like... You literally have a feast that could feed everybody here and probably a few people back home and you're just talking to them. God, this is why I get frustrated with Navi sometimes. She just looks over to you and just like... They friend now. They, they nice the nice conversation list. Mm. Especially the silver one. They keep calling you all peons, which is funny. Peon, peon, I look peon. at the I big like drag. I look at the dragonfish. I look at it, and I start saying the words that uh, <laughs> that I were taught forever ago. Let's see if I can get a reaction out of it. Alexandra just pinches the bridge of her nose as she's just hearing this long series of obscenities coming from Tavian in front of the children. <laughs> Okay, he doesn't know what they mean. And we did Navi's catch, right? He knows oh. that they're swears. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Loosely. And Tavian... Ooh, Tavian got an item. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's... That's three... Two... Eight. Okay, let's see what Tina just found. She found something else. She finds herself pulling out what looks to be an ornate table leg that's just been floating on the surface. If it wasn't for the fact that caught and attached to the end of it is what looks to be the remains of a tattered black cow with the glint of dried up blood on it, as you found a murder weapon. Oh. I grab that, I look at it for a moment, I look at Tina, I pat her on the head. You know, somebody was getting a little messy with some paint, and I throw it back in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Not our crime. Not our problem. Uh, uh, Alexandra will just look over and just ask, hey, what was that? Something you should go get when the others are not looking. I'm, what? 
I just look at her and I just mouth the word murder weapon. Why? He shrugs. Why did you let me know? He shrugs again. Vacation. Just like motions around the vacation. You just gave me work. Fuck you. <laughs> and he just mouth. He thinks about for a minute. Looks back and just goes. Mouth's not our problem. <laughs> Can't let that slide. You uh, know that. He dives back in the water and goes gets it, and then just brings it slowly over to Alexandra and put it next to her. Uh, I'll give it to the guard. He just nods. It's unknown how long it's been down there. When it went down there, what it's tied to, but you have now found a murder weapon for some kind of crime. Yeah, but if also, if it's an ornate table leg, then we can identify who crafted it, and then we can ask about who it was sold to. True, true. If it's all ornate, that means expensive, that means ability, that means when I get a bitch. That Bons? also means, uh... Hey Tavian. Uh huh. You might be able to identify that shit. It was used as a club, wasn't it? I cast yeah. identify. <laughs> as soon as she says that, Tavian's eyes go, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, cast identify. Who's the last person to use it? And who made uh, it? The last person to use it was. Timothy. Timothy. Titan Spain. Lam yeah, Timothy Titan Spain. We'll yes! <laughs> he lives! God damn it, no. <laughs> I can go into what you've done. I don't know who that is, but apparently they exist now in this world. <laughs> He's a holdover character that has showed up in every campaign that I've ever run since I ran the uh, Icewind Dell campaign. He was an NPC who used to be of noble blood, who ended up being not of noble blood, and then working his way back up into glory and becoming a, like a character that the party kept around. And I now hope that this is not a murder weapon, but a weapon that was used in self-defense. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> well, you could definitely tell who used it, and that's the person who used it. It's got a cloak that's got the bloodstains of someone it was used against on it. If it was a cloak, they were probably a thief. Wishful thinking, wishful thinking. It is. Um, uh, you know what? I identify the cloak. It is an equipable item. Okay. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. I'm trying to think of a name for a butler. That's not Jeeves. Andrew. Andrew Woodsworth. Hmm. Octavian says crunching on something for a second, like some kind of snack he's brought with him. Now that he's out of the water. It's like some crackers. Yeah. So apparently somebody named Timothy's Titans Bane has killed a man named Andrew. Uh, what was the last name again? Woodsworth. Uh, Woodworth. Timothy Titans Bay in a noble name. Maybe Alexander knows him. Shrug. You can make a history roll if you'd like to. Sure. Nine. You've never heard of them before. Never, never heard of them. Must not been that important. Yeah. Well, we can let the guards know when we get there. We solved an entire murder mystery for them in the span of three seconds. You know, honestly, 
I could just go down by the guard station and start grabbing murder weapons and just solving crimes for them. I don't know why I haven't been doing that yet. Side quests acquired. Sounds like a you great know, way to make some the, money. Hmm. Um... Also, hey, ha ha ha, payback for saying, hey, why didn't you just go heal the sick? <laughs> <laughs> the, the situation uh. with that is, uh, would, would that work in court saying, I can do this and that's what I got from the item, so that's... that's a type of magic, yeah. Well, you'd have to be an identifiable source of magic and... It don't have to be verified by a third party. Mm -hmm. Which you are. Not. My association and connections to you will make me mm. ill-suited. That is true. However, comma, you're the Inquisition. However, comma... Fair. Exactly. So it would be completely permissible in court, especially if it's hired by the court. And I can prove it easily by having I people mean, bring me stuff. All of these are true statements. Well, I guess that's something that can be done later then. Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, but before we get distracted with work, they raise the rod. Alright, you guys keep fishing, I'm gonna talk to Navi. Alright. Hey Tina, you should come over here next to Finn and Alexandra and fish with them for a little bit. You know, next to Big Sister Alexandra. They boop down. And, just and starts... Navi's about to be invaded. Does that make me... You're my adopted wait, daughter, I... congratulations. I sit down. Uh, wait, I don't want to. Too late. It's happened. I already have a complicated relationship with my parents. I don't need more. Uh, what's complicated about the fact your dad loves you and your mom also loves you? <laughs> She's talking about her great heritage. Well, yeah, but does she ever ever actually interact with any of those great no. heritages? So it's like a distant relationship thing. And... Yeah, she should stop worrying about it. Their actions do not reflect on her. I sit down next to Nobby. Why? Why do you want this? Because I care also, about you. Stop eating the fish, we can hear you crunching. It's not fish, also. Uh... <laughs> Navi looks very, uh, very at peace currently. She seems to be mumbling under her breath in uh, Mythoa. You catch little bits and pieces. Just a casual conversation. With the tree? Question mark? The tree will just speak up while you have a conversation. The strange one is approaches us. I know. Yes, my mm. They need to root themselves. They're not healthy walking around. That is something that the flesh do, not the plants like they are. Navi opens an eye, looks at Octavian, and smiles. Uh, Tavian just kind of smiles, nods back, and starts looking the tree over, looking for any kind of, like, nicks, scratches, or any kind of, like, damage. Just the natural kind you see from time. Mm -hmm. Tavian's gonna bother to, uh, start casting over and over again Druidcraft to mend those, to mend those damages and start healing the tree. Rapid fire mending. 
cocks hand like shotgun starts healing the tree. It's a slow, very slow process. Yeah, figures as much, but invigorating it wouldn't be a bad idea. I can also start causing um, its flowers to, to bloom. True, true. The tree accepts this kind gesture, but... What else would you like to do here now that you've got Navi's attention? I just... this is pretty nice and peaceful today. It is, yes. You like this tree? They are all gorgeous, as they say. Hmm. And she smiles at you much like you and I. Oh. I look around the ground, are there any seedlings? Like any kind of like, I don't know, tree nut or just like it's seed pods? It's a flowering tree, so there's a chance of some seedling. Make a perception row. This is gonna go poorly. Especially with my luck today. Yeet. Fourteen, huh. You can see a, a few seedlings around. I'm gonna pick a few up. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt to have a few trees in the garden. <laughs> Take care of them. Oh, we both know you're gonna be there for that. <laughs> I know. But you know how I am. Oh, of course. It could be any other... Well... Yeah. We've got enough fish to start cooking. Ruby, I was going to say, seems Ruby spoiled your plans quite a bit. Yeah, she yeah, smiled. she did. Of course she did. I caught a catfish, good enough for me. Uh, <laughs> Lynn, Lynn caught something big, and Alexander caught something big, so we can we can fry up some fish. It's not going to be Bingo. enough for. The nature here is strange, but small. Oh. Might be something further in. That is what I was thinking. I think there was a grove here. It is not an impossibility. There was a grove nearby. <sighs> I kind of want to revisit that it grove in the water. And would explain why such an ancient tree is so small. Well, in that case, I think I'll uh, go start cooking and gathering everybody up to head back in the city. I think uh, we've been out here for hours, unless they want to camp out here tonight. I do not think that would be a bad idea. Everybody could use a relaxation. Yeah. I just lean over the cliff face. Hey, yo, um, I think we're gonna camp here tonight. You guys alright with that? Uh, perfectly fine with that. We've got the hut if you want to be... Get some cover, if you want to lay out some beds and blankets and enjoy the stars, we can do that too. Both sound nice. Oh. If that's what you want, hon. I brought marshmallows, oh. chocolate, and graham crackers. Uh, I yeah. guess we're doing this. Marshmallows. That's fair. I I cannot argue with marshmallows. Looks like anyone can. Just look at Ruby over there. It's distracted from a conversation with the fish. Hmm. Marshmallows, marshmallows. Begins to chant. And the fish look like they're bobbing to the chant. Mimicking it in fish. All but the silver one. So, okay, so are we all just going to ignore the fact that Ruby has a small cult of fish? Yep. And I think that it is good for her. To have a cult of fish? 
The fish cannot go out of the water, it would keep her occupied. I swear to god, if I start hearing about how some of the fish people started worshipping this all-powerful god uh, goddess with red scales, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah. I mean... Perhaps a couple of thousand years down the road. <sighs> the elder god Ruby. From the depths, <laughs> she rises. Does Ruby say that? That sounds like something she'd say. Yep. If she's hearing this conversation, I can see her definitely doing that. Just making the spooky wiggling so fingers as well. We're up on the cliff. Yeah. So yeah, if she can't are. hear it, then no. Yeah. But, but you have the imagination of her doing that. Let's not fill her head full of ideas, shall we? Right then. I'm gonna go over there I and just kinda... That, I think that... Uh... The uh, estate is going to need a new pond, is all I have to say. You got the ability to cast water. I have the ability to create water, yes. I'll have the guards grab some shovels when we get back. Uh, the green guard can help me dig. Also, I'm a hundred percent calling the uh I'm a hundred percent calling the gardeners the green guard now. It was Be because they they're they are gladiatorial looking in nature at this point. <laughs> like we have created the most hardcore gardeners in existence. <laughs> it's not often you see gardeners wielding, wielding full fucking battle axes. Yeah, it's not often you have a druid that constantly like makes the, yeah that constantly keeps okay, making everything uh, bigger. In fairness, they're probably able to make a lot of um, progress now. Now that Navi's not there for a day, <laughs> they beat back. Oh my God, Cadia stands. <laughs> Cadia stands. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit! They just chanting a victory tune over there. And Navi took that personally. Yeah, uh, Navi will. The the plants broke before the guard did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's 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 like plants versus zombies, but it's just the plants are the the problem, not plants zombies. versus mercenaries. <laughs> Good but God! Let's have one more round of rolls to finish it off before we move on to the barbecue. All right, then I'll roll two d twenty. We both catch something. All right. Nice. Navi. And would Navi herself like to just reach into the nah. water and pull something out? Nah. Okay. That is one for Ruby and oh an item for Lynn. And Alexandra. Hmm. One last row from you two, please. Eight and ten. Okay, you two actually catch nothing this time. You're just probably distracted. They're just cuddling. Which makes sense. Uh, there's one Tavian Rose. Navi do roll your Navi also can't do things. Yeah, two D ten from Navi. Oh my god, if that's another bass, Tavi is just gonna look over there and just contemplate swiping bass from her. Okay, that is it. We'll do Navi first, so that'll be 15 and 8. Do... So that is a Datanoid. Oh, sweet, another big fish to eat. Oh wait, no, wait, that's yeah. the... If Ruby lets you. Oh. Yeah, so that one's not pretty. That that isn't a bass though, and she's very attached to the bass. Do you? So... Can I have that one, Ruby? Mm. Oh, uh, she'll look at it. Um, it's it's quiet and it's screaming for you to let go though. That's it's fine. You. That's fine. <laughs> Just toss it over here. 
And then we have Lynn, who is getting herself an item. Okay. Dude, I don't know what's a catfish and then what we caught earlier. And an Arwa. That Arwa's probably going to be enough just to feed the group of how big those things are. The catfish is bigger. The average size of a catfish is like two to three feet. The big, the bigger ones are bigger than people. Okay, Lynn will be reaching down and find herself pulling out a bag, which jingles and clatters for a moment as she just opens it up and small balls start rolling out, each one with a glistening silver, uh, red liquid in them as they land into the sand. Just making a puzzle as she looks back at them and looks at the group. You might want me to identify that. That looks dangerous. <laughs> or, like, are marbles of healing potions, which would also be weird. She shrugs, picks them up, and offers them over to you. I cast identify. You will find yourself having pearls of spoiled healing potion. <laughs> Pearls of spoiled healing potions? I didn't... Healing potions are magical. They don't normally spoil. These ones, however, seem to have somehow spoiled. Which, because they're spoiled, they do the opposite effect of healing. Dealing a d6 point of damage for every pearl that someone heats. <laughs> then you just, pull, you just pulled up a bunch of uh, pearls of anti-healing. They, they fucking poison people. Also, roll a... Who would like to roll the d8 plus 2 to see how many of these there are? Uh, I do believe that's Navi's business. Oh, no. that's the wrong one. Ah. So, you've only got three of them. But you have got small pearls of anti-healing. So you got a free 3d6 that you can throw down a dragon's throat or something? Effectively. Oh, I, I, I don't want to be carrying that. Um, we look around for a moment and look up. Uh, Navi, would you like a bag of anti-health, health, apparently? Mm, no, he does not want this, no. Give it to Alexandra. Uh, I'm sure the, Inquis oh. the Inquisitor could find a use for... Poison pearls. Um, Al Alexandra, would you like some po poison pearls? Like blood pearls, I, I guess would be an, ac an accurate term for these. A Alexandra, hello. Um, sure. To the and... Um, may maybe. Um, what's going on? Well, yeah, these are... you. Okay. Lynn just picked up pearls of poison. There are three of them. If you if somebody eats them, they are poisoned. They take a good bit of poison damage. No, to be... They actually are called pearls of spoiled healing potion. And yeah. they cause negative energy damage. Not uh, necrotic. Poison. That's significantly worse. Like, yeah, no, um... Someone spoiled some healing potion pearls, and they apparently, uh, if somebody eats them, they deal necrotic damage. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Everyone deals a d6 points of damage, and you might find three of them in this bag. Hmm. I'm sure you could find a use um, for that. I can. I don't Here like... you go, Tavian. Wait, what? Why are you handing Give me my use for them? I am. <sighs> Delegation, remember? That's not what I meant by that, but alright. Oh, I know that's not what you meant by it, but also, ha. Ah. Alright. Alright, I'll just put these in my bag of shit. <sighs> um, and as for the last two fish that Twimmer and Alexandra catch, it's another minnow and a crappy. Uh, who? Who? A crappy fish. Crappy? What the fuck is a crappy fish? 
Is it spelled? You mean a, a carp? Um, it's spelled like this. Google it, my friends. I don't. I don't. Yeah, the minnow was just looked at, and oh, I hand it to Lynn. It's just like a smaller food fish because. Oh, they're not that oh, small. Well, I mean, it's, they're not that small, but it's like. I've um, seen bigger. Be good for smoking. Well, let's see here. Size. And uh, as they cook, they have a sweet, mild white meat flavor. Oh, they have a legal length limit because they can get big. I will say this one's a chunky one that adds to the rest. Uh oh. Uh, would this be a bigger crappy or a smaller crappy? Because they get they get apparently like way I'll, bigger. I'll say it's a medium size. Okay, so about about a foot. It's a slab of fish. Thirteen ounce, twenty ounce. I'm looking at like a long list of just how big they get. Fifteen pounds of fish. Jesus. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, uh, massive or medium size, so that that should still be one of the food items. I put that in the food section. Alright. Um, I give the minnow to Lynn because I saw her eat one earlier. She looks surprised for a moment. Didn't think anyone noticed her. And just walks just... over to the fish and I pat her on the back. Right um... So look around for a moment and turn back on everybody and there's no more fish. I go start a fire. A catfish. The fish we caught earlier, the two fish. Uh, an arowana and then two of the, the uh, one that starts with a D again. Uh, Datanoid. Datanoid. Those. So I guess I fry and or smoke those. Would you like to make a cooking check to see how well these come out? I would request a, an assistant with that. <laughs> I'll mm. even let Finn help. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alexandra will have Finn help while she's swooning over him. Cute. How come on over getting his special knives out, which get him a bit excited. As he goes the to... Boat knives? <laughs> those knives that gives them a certain stabby edge, but also makes them very good at cooking. Right. Oh boy. So I'm guessing advantage. Yep. Or should I give advantage to Finn? That's up to you. Well, mine's only going to be a plus three for survival, because that's what it takes to fucking cook in the wilderness, unless you have cook's tools, which I don't. So if his is bigger than that, I'll assist him. Gives a plus two for proficiency, but he does. Let me double check his wisdom to make sure I've got this right. Pretty sure his wisdom is poor, but I could be mistaken that it's actually the better. Should be plus three by now, unless he's lower leveled. I'll talk about proficiency. Oh. Talk about stat wise. I don't know. That's why I'm trying to find out. Do do where did I put him properly? Ah, oh, there is follower. 
I mix it up. Okay, so let's have a look. Do okay, minus two wisdom because he has to sing. Okay. So with the tools, he gets a plus two. Plus that's five, but also a minus two to that. So he also has a free total. Well, that's including the minuses that he gets to it. So he is a plus three total, so it doesn't matter either way? Yep. Alright, then I'll just roll myself. Add advantage. Please don't suck. Yeet. It did not suck. Thank you, Finn. 21. Alright, hell yeah. It's a good damn fish. So is it grilled? Or how are you doing this barbecue uh he'll pull out just a normal ass frying pan from his fucking survival shit i got a fucking iron pot and it's fine uh i've got a mess kit yeah so i'll i'll fry the fish over the flame just throwing random seasonings on it uh was it this game that somebody had the the pouch of seasoning I'm trying to remember nope. I don't think that was this one. Oh. No, that was Tiger's game. Oh, that's right. No, so he'll just, I guess he'll be seasoning it with salt, because that'll be about all he's got. But yeah, no, he'll, he'll fry the fish. I could have brought more with me from the house. We'll say that I brought some, uh, some seasoning from the house, and I'm frying it with salt, black pepper, and the equivalent of Cajun seasoning in this world, which is uh, dried red pepper... And black pepper and some uh, cayenne. Making spicy fish. Spicy fish. Spicy fish. Slowly, the scent of pleasant fish would begin to tickle the air with its own gentle allure. Drawing some of the wildlife that's like that to peek their heading from the surrounding area. But don't broach any further, just watching. Mostly it's the birds from above that begin creeping in. Gazing down at the group. Some mouths are starting to water. As it just smells delicious, even your own just starts taking that in. <sighs> Good damn day. Yeah, no, after a while, just tell everybody it's ready. Probably give a regular and uh, Tola less spicy food, because if I remember correctly, they didn't like spicy. If I remember correctly. Uh, no, they liked the spicy the gravy when he mm -hmm. cooked. Yeah, so they liked the spice. So yeah, no, Tola gets spicy food. He'll, fishy. Yeah, he'll ask a regular if she likes spicy or not. Um, I like a bit of spice, so certainly. There you are. Uh, Lynn, spice or no spice? Lynn, probably not because mm. yeah, Alicia is. I give her the smoked fish. A deterrent. Yeah, I'll I'll give her smoked fish because smoked fish is good for animals. She's much more in tune with her natural tastes than mm -hmm. otherwise as she's shown, so suddenly being presented with super spicy things would not go well for her. So, smoked fish it is. Smoked fish is a repellent in the nature, so. I look at Ruby. Ruby, are you wanting fish or you want me to get you some of the plants? Mm, plants. Plants. Right. Fish uh, are friends. Some fish are friends, other fish are food. I hand her, uh, I hand her a couple of apples and, uh, 
like a head of lettuce and a few carrots, which I was going to make a stew with, but... Navi, Navi walks up and uh, hands Ruby a bag of bugs for, the, for her fish friends. They'll take them, but at the insult that some fish are food, the silvery one that speaks up in Draconic once more, for anyone that can understand that, to just... Ah, oh, this one is a bit of a pest, aren't they? It speaks in Draconic. I don't know Draconic, but I understand that it's Draconic. I look down, and I immediately just say a few of those words that... <laughs> that were taught exactly to me from are... I don't know! What exactly are the words? I don't know, what did you tell me to say to the dragon? <laughs> Uh, I mean, what, what was, uh, what did Ferex teach him to yell at the dragon? Oh, okay, so just insult to rile them up, okay. Uh, something probably of, uh, worm of dimini uh, diminished scales or something like that. The large bat stills for a moment at that, then... The waters around them ripple. As its scales pull back for a moment, and it just pulls itself out of the water, as you see a feminine figure taking a perch with narrowed eyes towards you. He just puts his hands on his chin. They seem young. Not too young. Definitely in the elderly range, but... Alexandra, that fish became a person. I'm pretending I'm not noticing anything right now. No, no, I think <laughs> I think we need to... I think we need to notice... No, you know what? No, you keep, you keep doing... Here, continue to eat your spicy fish. Uh, hey, Navi, this fish became a person. <laughs> Does somebody here who speaks draconic translate for me. I don't even know what I said to it. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> really now. Now it's speaking in common as Ruby's looking in amazement. Just blink a few times. Hello. That is a person, yes. It is now. Oh my god, you're not just some fucking half-baked dragon. You're, you're a dragon who was a fish for some reason. Oh, and now you're a person. That is my state of being. Oh, dear So Lord. I shifted it a little bit to blend in with on these adorable little critters. I'm a <laughs> dragon co, as some call me. Hello. A dragon what? Co, kai, it's... Koi? Dif that, that's another way of saying it, yes. Oh boy! All right, so that's a so you're an actual dragon then. Yes, effectively. They come in different sizes and shapes now, Alexander. What the shit? I they always have. No, there's red dragons, there's white dragons, there's blue dragons, there's the chromatic dragons and the metallic dragons. Yeah, and the metal those are dragons. All different shapes and sizes. Yeah, but they're all like just color coordinated and dragons. Uh, well, other than the low metals, do you guys still have iron and steel dragons? What the hell are you talking about? Oh fuck! Those better not have went extinct. They were so they were so cool. All right, all right, we're gonna not get into that. Dragon koi, <laughs> dragon koi. Yes, hello. Right. Are you? Do you have a preferred name besides your being? The Hagra. Would be one of the names I go by. Well, I don't know what I said to you, but I'm assuming it was an insult, so sorry. You were effectively called me a lesser worm. Mm. He just kind of like grabs his chin. That would explain why when I said that to the red dragon, she got even more pissed off at me. Sorry, <laughs> Alexander, I called your mom a lesser worm. Eh, she probably deserved it. Oh, she definitely deserved it. Uh, oh, right then. Uh, am I in company of kin then? How interesting. Oh boy. 
Yes, both of the red ones. Uh, how cute. They'll reach out and just give Ruby a pat on the head. Ruby's still <laughs> looking at them with interest and awe because the fish just turned to a person. That's exciting and new. Mm hmm. I just. I'm. I came here to relax, and now there's a new species of dragon I've never heard of, and... Well, isn't this relaxing? It's just a conversation. Though I would like a little bit of that fish, please. Uh, spicy, not spicy. Mm -hmm. I don't remember really having spice before, so I think I'll try some of them. Here you new are. experience and all. <laughs> he just hands her a plate of um, the Arawa that has been spiced to high hell because Tavian loves spicy food. Let's step it for a moment before taking a bite and let me roll to see how they handle spice. Oh ha! Not well. Nope. Their eyes water as they just stick out their tongue and just like, uh, nope. All right, this is I not hand her a bottle of milk. And I could have told you that would happen. Uh, why is it white liquid? What it's milk, this? it's from a cow, it's got lactate in it, it will ease the spice. They sniff it for a moment we're trying it. Let's see if they like milk. It'll <laughs> it'll take away the spicy. They've just pulled a towel and they like things that are white apparently. Oh my god, <laughs> that's fair. He just kinda scratches his head. Alright. Right. This might as well be a thing to here's the non spicy food. Okay, let us see if this is any better. They'll take it, take a little nibble. Mm. I guess I'm not too much of a fan of fish. At least cooked. You were just oh. one. Well, that does make sense. Indeed, it's a little bit of a cannibalism, <sighs> I guess. Oh, but so many I'm questions. curious to the whole all of you. It's... I don't even know what even brought me here, I was just enjoying my time in the depths, and suddenly I'm being tugged on by a little hook that caught onto one of my loose scales. That would be the little red one there that caught you. Indeed. I, but the fact is, you somehow got me from the deep, dark depths where light doesn't really touch, but you somehow found me. Which makes me very curious. I don't think I should be diving in the water what? anymore. <laughs> We have not moved from where we are currently. It is just so much of a surprise to all of us, I assume. It is. It's very curious and a little bit exciting. I haven't been under the the look up into the sky. The false sky in quite some time. Interesting. How long would you say it would have been? Oh, uh... Hmm... I'm not entirely too sure. It, it has to be at least a couple of hundred. How old would you say you are? I think I'm nearing... My first thousand. I, I really haven't kept track of much. I apologise. That's fine. That's it does a curiosity. Numbers go up, and then you don't know. I'm apparently over 8,000 years old. <laughs> you don't look it. Usually, you're kind... Actually, you look like a plan. Never mind. Maybe if we cut a finger off, we can check the rings. I hear that's how you check an age of a plant. Uh, specific <laughs> to trees, if you try to that with most other plants, they just bleed mm. out. Oh, so we can't do that with you then. Unfortunate. Am I a tree? No. He no. looks at... <laughs> I don't have bark on me, right? Would no. you like to have bark on I'm you? looking for it. <laughs> I would more describe you as a shrubman. Extremely bushy. Yes. Mm. 
moth or strawberry or such. Yeah, that and moss apparently. Definitely need a shave. Not how that works. <laughs> you know, you it's say that, you joke, thing. but no matter which form I'm in, I still don't have any facial hair. It pisses me off. It's hilarious. Oh, poor you. Yeah, 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 it's genetics. She pats you on the cheek. The worst part well, is my dad had a full face of hair. Just Well, you certainly did not get those from me. No, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure that was the moss. Yes, that is how that works. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right, but um, Dagra, again, pleasure to meet you. Um. Apologies for your disturbance. Apologies oh, for the insult. No <laughs> this has been exciting. Though the insult could have been a bit better. <laughs> Got any recommendations if I need to piss off a dragon? Well, I mm. wouldn't really work on me as being called a worm when I'm a a creature of the sea doesn't really function, but I guess insulting what element or existence they're tied to would be more effective. Perhaps they're hard if they have one. Oh. I have a good example for one that might work on you, although no one fences intended, obviously. That's An example. Nice. Um. I'm listening. My little pink is more impressive than you. That definitely could work as an insult. I mean, for an insult, again, no offense. Uh, dragon of the diminutive pond. <laughs> well, considering where we are, that's more accurate than anything. If this would be a pond I'll lay claim to. <laughs> But thanks for the advice, I'll think on it. I'll have to have Alexander teach me some insults for the word fire now. <laughs> uh. But now I'm up here, I'm curious how my father is doing. Uh, who Who's your father? Be? Please think enough, I don't exactly know his name. Mm, type of dragon. Oh, he's a white dragon, a bit of a feral nature. I only truly. Oh my God! We just found Jeeves' daughter. We just found Jeeves' daughter. Was he, and perhaps employed or under command by a red dragon? That would be an accurate statement. Yes. Oh my God! We just found Jeeves' left fucking test. Okay. Um, I think I have a idea of who your father might be. I could hear that by the conversation, Jeeves. Really? That's what he's going by currently. It's not his actual name. Wait, they can converse? How? They speak common. Hmm. When I remembered them, they couldn't speak anything but feral noises and hate everything that they saw. That's yeah. curious oh, indeed. A lot's changed. Um. Oh, are they still laying waste to towns and brutal No. Um, oh, they're really? actively defending the kingdom in small ways. That is... even more confusing. They've become a butler. Hmm, I can only see them doing that out of spite. Well, obsession. <laughs> Maybe obsession. Well, Must considering, at this point. considering the red dragon that they worked for is my friends here's mother. And she actively yeah. raised me. In a way, that kind of makes you cut. That is an intriguing concept. You're a cousin to a fish dragon. Hello. Hello. Not by blood. You know, it's interesting talk of it. I can't remember the last time I did this. I stick my head in the water and scream. <laughs> <laughs> my throat is feeling all itchy and tingly. How curious. You should probably drink some water. Not the, the sea water, but 
Fresh water? What does that taste like? I just hand them a bottle of water. They take it. Oh, uh, water skin. And drink it. An odd feeling of refreshment. Mm -hmm. That is what this form would require, yes. I guess it does. They'll glance down to themselves. Oh, is Which... this garment accurate? I created it when it was changing since you were wearing stuff, but... Oh, what are they wearing? It looks like they're wearing what well, effectively appears to be priest robes of white, black, and golden trim. It would work, although I would recommend less divine clothing. Really? Well, this is what the last meal looked like. Um, okay, uh, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Look over the rest of you to see. Um, there's a fucking beast swimsuit there's mm -hmm. <laughs> like uh, I think only Davian here is dressed normally so all of you are strange then that makes well, it a better meeting then. not necessarily although I'm Dressed to relax and enjoy the weather. They glance up for a moment. I guess that works, but... My lovey is never dressed beyond what she currently is. Let's see. But dressed to... to lose society. So, dressed as a wildling, dressed uh, to be comfortable, or dressed like a normal person. Interesting choices. <laughs> I think I'll go with the wildling. That sounds a little bit interesting. Like They'll snap that? their fingers, and when they do, their clothes just change, fading and dying to match the appearance of your own. Never. Mm. Not quite as real as yours, but Navi will go over and start pop, like placing seeds all over her, and then. Uh, after quite a bit of time of druid craft, uh, the the design is real. Hmm. Well, that is indeed curious. Okay, feeling living things on my flesh is an interesting experience. <laughs> it usually is. She stands up and just stretches a little bit. To... Hmm, not too restrictive. Oh, she wobbles for a moment, she takes a step. Right, not in water anymore. That's going to take up some practice to get used. Not um, You'll get them, like, a branch for crutch. Oh, uh, what's the correct word for this? I believe it is, you're welcome, as they accept the branch. Thank you, is what you should say. You're welcome is what I would say. Oh, okay, uh... Thank you, then. You're welcome. My Navi is very sad to have to leave. It's always interesting to learn the, the tongue of your food. I guess you're not food at the moment. <laughs> or potential future? Hard to say. No, dear. I'm far older than you. She leans in and gives you a small sniff. Mm. You smell it! Probably wouldn't try to eat you then. <laughs> Maybe... Wait, those are technically kin, so I shouldn't be eating them either. Especially not the little one. They were kind. Um... I would prefer you not to eat my little sister. She looks like she's... a bit too excited at the moment anyway. She's just... Five mm. basic there, that's not a word. She doesn't get the opportunity to make many new friends. Unless it has already been cooked up here, they are not food. She'll reach over into the bag and pull out one of the insects. What about these? I 
mean you have done this once you've done that? They do not have the saving ones. There are surface delicacy then in that case. Let's have a try. <laughs> she bites down. Her face scrunches up. Mm, this would no. probably be more appealing in, in your other form. Yes, the feeling of it twitching up between my... Teeth. What's the what? Teeth, that's the word. I was about to say bones, but I guess that's not correct. No, they are bones. No, they are bones. That's just the particular type of bone. Flesh mandibles. No, that's not accurate either. Just the teeth will do. Um. Okay, they use some of that water you gave them to wash it out. I'm finding that I don't like a, the taste of a lot of things like this. That's unfortunate. Well, put her more. Then Nadi will hold out an apple to her. And not from vegetative. Taste. They'll lean over and take a bite. Mm, nope. <laughs> nope. I really like this white thing you gave me, though. As I lift up the milk, and it turns out they're becoming more and more like taller in the moment. <laughs> You've got an autistic dragon, guys. I'm okay with this, just blinking. Yeah, no, I have an idea. I take a marshmallow out, I stick it on a stick, and I roast it, and I hand it to them. Because it's gooey and squishy, and that texture seems to be a popular one. Yep, they, they, they're an autistic Tola. They take it, they squish it for a moment, like, hmm, fun texture. Pop it in their mouth. Ooh, this is indeed nice. Oh my god. Okay, the milk and that, you got my approval. <laughs> Just blinks. I don't Navi looks at you, looks at Tola, and looks back at you, James. What? Damien. What? You handle her like you handle her. That's because I noticed the similarities. Yes. Oh god. No. <laughs> yeah, I would prefer not. Um, just for the simple fact of... I don't want to figure out what the family bloodline would look like after that. <laughs> oh, are you trying to propose for me for mating? No... I'm sorry, but what? He might. I'm sorry, what? Bloodline, it's this. I I had to say something to my wife. What got said that I missed? Uh, the the dragon asked if you are proposing a mating. No. <laughs> okay, no. 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 I, no. No. The stairs were a bit confusing. But that's perfectly fine. Oh, I'd rather not have any hatchlings anytime soon. Or podlings, seedlings. <laughs> Um, Peoplelings. You can just say young. David young. just yeah. sitting there scratching his head, just like, how does this keep happening to me? <laughs> that tism is. Why? <laughs> 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 oh God, that's a that's a statement. So you did speak on apparently knowing the kindred that sired me. Mm -hmm. Yep. The fact that they're no longer in the frenzied state was intriguing. Yep. If you want to come with, you're more than welcome to. We're not leaving here tonight. I wouldn't be too against that, though. I'd like to come bring along the little ones here that have been keeping me company as they'll motion down to the bath that I just. In front of Ruby. We had already been making plans for a uh, aquatic feature. Yep. At the estate now. <sighs> I'm just. I'm so violently mm -hmm. angry that I started to record again and you just openly saying you got that tism, Riz. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a fucking statement I was looking for. Right then, alright. Uh, I'm gonna need to go for a minute, so if you guys wanna take five. <laughs> please. We could. 
Okay, I'll be back. Ah. Uh -huh. You know, I had some little Easter eggs all prepared if anyone got any 20s just to see what could come out. And of all the ones that were rolled up, it was her. Add another one, two, three, two, four more secrets that could have been discovered while the others being treasures. Oh, I guess that's five secrets. I guess that counts as both a treasure and a secret. I hope you had fun fishing though. It was a a new mechanic I thought I would throw in for this session to have a bit of fun with. No, I thoroughly enjoyed what's going on here. Just some relaxing time, just enjoying ourselves, seeing some chaos happening, little bits of roleplay throw in. Also, dang Alexander really do be my only uh, purely monogamistic straight character. <laughs> <laughs> the flirt is wild with this one. <sighs> I'll get a drink. I'll be back in a moment. So, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Me? Well, all of you, <laughs> but yes, you That's as well. Fair. I am a Royal Inquisitor of this kingdom. I do not know what a Royal Inquisitor is, but that sounds high in position in your pool. Organization, government, pick whatever works for you. But, um, yeah, it's. I am almost kind of above the law. Ah, that must make it very easy for you to hunt your prey and devour them then. Uh, I try and stay within the law just for the sake of. You know, not overexerting my power and just in infiltrating and being a nuisance to people's lives. But you're a dragon, your word is law. <laughs> Half. Oh, I guess that's similar to me in that case. Yeah. Um, but if you're above the law and only half, so is that the reason you stick to the law? Because half of you needs to and the other half doesn't? Well, no. Yes. 
It's out of respect for the people of this nation. So if you could become a full dragon, would you break free from the chains that are binding you? Probably not. I don't particularly try to anger the people. Is there any reason to fear the anger of the people? The th There's a lot more people than me. Hmm. Oh, right. Half. They probably could swarm you, much like the piranhas swarm the other. Well, there's that. And... I have an oath to protect the people of this land, of these lands, not just rule over them and conquer. Oath. Oath. I've heard that word before, but I don't know its meaning. What exactly is an oath? Oh, is that... Oh, wait, I know oath. That is the word for buffoon and... Someone oh, that's, that's very dumb. No, that's it sounds oath. The... It sounds it's... the same, though. It means very different things. An oath is when an individual agree makes an agreement to themselves and potentially a higher power to more or less... more or less agree to act a certain way. This tongue is very strange of how two words that sound almost exactly the same have so different meanings. Yeah, welcome to common. I mean, there's there, there, and there. That's what the same word. Why are you repeating the same word? Ah, they're not the same word. They mean very different things. There is a location. There is, like, their object. And yeah, it's it's kind of silly. I didn't I didn't invent the language. But I would like to talk to the manager. It feels like someone had gotten what's that substance? I've had too much of that. I believe it's liquor, and. Their mumblings in that debilitating state, which is always unpleasant when I see it and spell it. Well, a long time ago, anyway. Perhaps they. that's how this came up. Maybe. At least. beyond yonder, last I remembered, the, this tongue had a lot more of a twist to it. But I. But I guess it, this still works in at least understanding one another. Yeah, it, it is a shared form of language and communication, so... Their eyes shift from you over to the Navi. And what about yourself? And I am my Navi. Currently. My Navi. Okay, that is a name that I can remember. My Navi. Uh, like my... It's a... No, like it's, my... it's a, an old tongue. Far older than you. Uh, meaning... Oh, that meaning... is why the words have a bit of power in them. That makes sense. It is meaning my mother nature. They look at you. Hearing. She smiles. <laughs> Curious. You're smaller yes. than I would think Mother Nature would look. Life can be microscopic. Life can be gigantic. Who is to say what size nature chooses to take? Well, I was just a fish, so I can't really say anything. Exactly.
But we are not always my lobby. Sometimes we are a protector. Sometimes we are an aggressor. Sometimes a leader. Sometimes a mischief maker. Well, I am sometimes a but fish. Sometimes. sometimes a lady of the sea. I believe some have called us, what's that word? Siren. Yes, some people claimed we were a siren at one point. Made things very easy. <laughs> No, it, it was strange. It's when we were called that. I believe taking this being became easy when people started to claim we were a siren. <laughs> Do be careful claiming that around here now. It might get you in trouble. I'll keep that in mind. Well, as I've already stated, I'm Jahagra. Jahagra. In, there's a little bit of power there as well. And though it I really only that. comes out if you speak more of the elder draconic tongue. Even without it, I could feel. I'm glad. Most can't, and then they just hear it and they mumble it, I'll butcher it. <laughs> no. You'll not find that issue with me. Though my older dungeons are typically more of the primordial sort. Than the draconic. Understandable. As long as... We can translate and speak to each other. I don't think it's an issue there. Exactly. Though Just my navy. On the tongue for a reason. When you take on the names of the others, of the trickster and the like, are you still my navy or is there something else tied to it? Like the trickster mm. nature? <laughs> that one has been uh, dubbed mischief by uh, those around. She is... But... I, those of my tongue, would call her Vera. And there is Tessa, the caregiver. Ray, the aggressor. Ro, the defender. Me, my, meaning mother, Lobby. And then Pa, the leader, though he is new and still adjusting. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. Did I miss anything? Uh, Navi talking about the different Navis. Oh. But no, the uh, trickster, as you say, uh, mischief as they know, Vera, she is, was, the younger spirit, at least in mind, and tends to be carefree when one really should not. It is not unknown for us to have to clean up her messes. Much like a child. I can see that being a bit troublesome. It is part of life. Part of nature. Much like a certain species of birds to play tricks and laugh and enjoy life, so too does she. I'm sure there are animals of the sea who are like such as well. 
It does certainly seem so. I've been told my own names mean rebirth, but I'm not quite sure if that's mm -hmm. accurate or not. Not from my tongue. But oh, so what does so. my name translate in your tongue? If it does have a translation. And she smiles. Change. Slightly similar, but slightly different. You want to know how autistic I am at the moment? Go for it. My brain heard change and immediately went, change is good, in the voice line from League of Legends. And I hate <laughs> it. Oh, you've, your inner geek is leaking out. You need to find the lanes, my friend, and dive into them. Need to find the what? Your no, lane. no, no. Now, now. I do wonder if my mother still exists. Difficult to say. She was one of the merfolk. That would explain your proclivity for water. I'm it does. I think she'd like to think of herself as a siren as well, though. <laughs> she might have actually been one. Potentially. I never really thought of it. Uh, my mind was similar to that of. My father. I just grew into a bit more of an understanding with the more I consume. <laughs> Total consumption can lead you astray. True. True. But it seems to have led me down to an interesting path at least. After all, I've become a siren, a devourer. <laughs> A dragon coy. <laughs> and apparently a bass as well, for what you are all just calling me. Though I don't quite know what the meaning of bass is. It was the type of fish you were. Oh! Thought it looked like a. Whenever again, we don't really know the names of the forms we are. Look down at the bass. Hmm. What an actual co looks like then. <laughs> A koi or ko? Uh, koi fish. Um, they're typically very brightly colored in scale, ranging from orange to white, to sometimes some darker splots of black. Um, they kind of look like oversized goldfish sometimes. H here, uh, he'll just like start drawing one out on some paper that he brought specifically Navi, for Dina. Uh, Navi, Navi puts a hand on Tavian's wrist. Mm. Uh, dives into the water and turns into a koi fish. A very large koi fish, but a koi fish. Alessandro will just look at Tavian and just say, Your toll is showing. But oh. da 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 I'm just mean. So when that's I... what they look like. I guess when I was dressed in the garbs of white and black, if I took on a form similar to that in my native colors, then it would have worked. Hmm. I quite like the form I was in, that was comfortable. And then Navi turns back into Navi and gets out the water. And shakes off like a dog. And while you do that, could I have a re resisting roll to see if Alexander <laughs> takes a dip or not? I'm so glad you knew what I was doing. <laughs> into the water! Yeet! <laughs> Alexandra, you face plant into the water. The bass surround you as they splutter around. And uh, you hear Ale Ruby shouting from above, Leave my fish alone! As she snaps out of her odd state. 
uh, Alexandra will, you know, come out of the water, kind of splash her head. That's for earlier. That's f <laughs> oh, that's more than fair, but also, uh, she's going to do like the finger come after me as she paddles a little further away, looking at Finn. Ben looks to the others, looks back, shrugs, dives in. Travel a distance. <laughs> he just shouts back. And then goes back to fucking making s'mores. Uh, give me a few more of those, please. They were really nice. Yeah, sure. And you just have Tola just look at you in that expectant. You know, yeah. I want my species. Yep, she gets s'mores as well. S'mores for everyone except for the two chuckle fucks that walked off. <laughs> or swam off. The two people that really <laughs> like s'mores just bond in silence as they enjoy them. Mm -hmm. So, you... It's my Navi. You're very curious. I'd like to know more of your how you speak. If there's connection there, you speak of change like I do with rebirth, and perhaps there's more that has a connection. Maybe, perhaps. There tends to be, from what I have seen, bits and pieces of my tongue, my toa, uh, the mother tongue, in my tongue. most languages. My Toa. When they speak that, there's a faint ripple in the air for a moment. Hmm. Feels interesting on my tongue, it's all tingly. Yes, it is powerful. Most things in my language are. Whether it be a name or a reason or an idea. Everything has some power to it from what I've learned, it's just if it's noticeable and able to be understood. Exactly. Like these squishy things as they lift up the marshmallows. Sure there's the some power here, outside of it being delicious. Delectable, <laughs> sweet, what's the word? As they keep squishing it for a moment before just shaking the head and putting it in the mouth. Whatever it is, it's Cool. No, cool's not the right word. After chewing on it. Um, cool. Or, or cosmic? No, that's not the right word either. <laughs> As t I fucking flinch at that word. <laughs> As Tavia just looks back and just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Try to think of a right word to describe the texture and feeling of this in my mouth. The answer is good. Delicious. Good. Excellent. Okay. We'll go with that. Oh, God. <laughs> Just instantaneous. There are kids here. <laughs> I'm confused on why an issue of me talking about enjoying something. Is oh, my help them with it? oh my god, oh my god, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Your friend is a, is a bit distressed. I'm confused with that. Do they have I some mental uh, disabilities? No, they are just... It has been... No, she got it right the first time. <laughs> yes, distress is good. Ah, so they are the, the words we said earlier, the oath of the group. I understand that. I am. No. No, wait a minute. That's... No. <laughs> it's okay. Every group has one from what I've been told. And oh, I am... I am a magic savant. I came up with my own style of magic thousands of years ago. Yes, and... I, 
an oaf. Reduced to an oaf. I am so insulted right now. Oh, darling. It's okay. Indeed, darling. It's okay, as they say. <laughs> you, you have not... No, 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 no. Do not call me darling. You, there are three people that I will let call me that. You are not one is of that them. Is that your name? No, my name is Tavian. 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 I don't like the di the sound of that on my tongue. It's fine by me. Rosemall. It's my Rosemall. last name. Rosemall. No, I don't like it together, but Rose works. Hello, Rose. <laughs> Could give you my middle name. You have too many names. Why do you need three? Every mortal has three. Well, every human mortal has three, technically. But why? It's just the way that we do. Navi shrugs. It is the society. I do not understand. My Navi is simply my Navi. Sometimes they are just nobby. Like the names have uh, meaning, right? Just my nobby. Does does your names have meaning? Are you a flower that? I think that it is more just a identifier for them. No, but it comes with sense. meaning. A lot of the times. Rosemall is the name given to my family specifically because of the fact that there were a lot of smiths in the family. And our indicators, the rose part of Rosemall was because of the fact that the original one that went by that, his wife had a garden. And she liked roses. So eventually oh. they just got called Rosemall because that was the weapon that of choice that he would wield, or at least that's what I've been told. Oh, I just thought that it was because you like to mutilate the foliage. No. You know, mauling the flowers, the roses? <laughs> no. Uh, that is, uh... That would be... quite the stressor on my relationship with them. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Well, if they consumed them, wouldn't it be... Normal in that case? Sure, yes, but just to cause damage for damage's sake. You can That's eat true. roses. Oh, so you do eat roses, that makes sense then. Well, Thank you for I said you process. can, not I do, though, well, I mean... The only way you could know you can if you've done it before. Or seen other people do it. But their forms aren't your own. They might be able to do it because of their existence and being. I mean, I the only way you could confirm if you can also handle it if you've tried it. I was human once. I understand that humans eat. I'm not gonna get into this. This is this. I'm talking in circles. I'm talking in circles. <laughs> you're a plant. You're not human. I. They are a plant today. Oh, were they like a change? Like almost. They are change. I'm gonna fix this first thing in the morning tomorrow. I'm going directly to the Magus and I'm fixing this. I would like to go with you if that is alright. That is fine. Tola also wanted to go. So, your. It, does the Magus have meaning? A Magus is an Arc Magus, it is a title given. He is a. Very powerful caster, he's a wizard of some sort. Ah, like when people have called me the Siren or the Devourer. Th those were titles, I believe. Yes. Tavian just <laughs> looks at them for a moment, and I'm trying, to, like, he is searching his history in his noodle for those titles, because those are very descriptive titles. <laughs> mm-hmm. And both of those sound a lot like the Eater of Worlds and other negative titles. 
Well, yeah, I believe funny. there was a title very similar to a certain person's mother, but so you're like, oh god. Yeah, as well as like, do I need a role history? No, they're too young for that for you okay. to know. Okay, they said thousand of years too, so well, that's fine. Just you just sitting there, eyes crossed. It was like you haven't like destroyed nations, have you? Oh no. I, however, did eat a village once. Did you have a good reason? I wasn't really of a mind to speak. It was more emotion and drive. Oh my god. And I you think they tried to hunt me. Sapien. Okay, so you weren't sapien at the time. Yes, th that was a development that happened. When did it happen? I, I remember saying it was when I was consuming things, that's why I'm having trouble mirroring time. Time for me is a concept that is still processing. <laughs> like the tongue. <laughs> like having this flesh mandible in your mouth that quivers to make noises that can be translated is still a puzzling thing. I yep. <laughs> he just shoves a s'more in his mouth. I broke the oath, I'm sorry. <sighs> just a deep sigh. Press the digitation myself to I put on a shirt. <laughs> then Ruby just speaks up. T teach me, teach me, teach me how to do that. I want to become a dragon. I want to become a fish. Teach me. Okay. No, no, Ruby. What have I told you? When you want something from somebody, what do we say? Uh, trade. No. Uh. Uh. And look. I forgot. What the word again? Start with the P. No, 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 that's a rude word that Alexandra says all the time. Um, not that word, not that word. Present? No. Mm. Oh, please! Yes, that word. Please give me all of your knowledge. <laughs> oh, God, just... Okay. Ruby probably can't transform into a dragon. But if you try really hard with Navi and learn the magic like you've been learning, you might be able to turn into a fish. Mm, I wouldn't say that. If she consumed enough, she might be able to. A dragon. And Dina is the one that has been learning the magic, Davian. I thought you taught her a trick too with the moss. No. Wait, was Tina in on that? Yes. He just looks over at Tina. Tina gives a guilty smile. Clever. Right, um, speaking of clever, we're gonna start your bow training when we get back to the house. If you want to have that ra that animal companion and learn how to be a ranger, I'll be more than happy to teach you. Confused head tilt. Not sure what a ranger is, but animal companion gets him a little bit excited. Ah, uh, a ranger is a hunter-gatherer who is a master of the woods, but also a master hunter. Okay, um, okay, that, that, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not trained in some of the nature magic, that's gonna have to come from Navi, but I can teach you a few of the other tricks. I can also teach you how to wear armor if you'd like. Start you off with something small like leather. Okay, that sounds good. Um, and as a certain Moomi has arrived, would anyone like to give them a quick recap on everything that's happened? Okay, Moomi, here's 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 the rundown. We're taking our vacation. Uh, it uh, we're taking our vacation. 
we have gone to a little island area with your, uh, with your mum and in tow. Um, we have caught a lot of fish. One of them turned out to be a dragonfish, turned into a person. They are the same kind of autistic that Tola is, and Tavian tried to get them to eat a few yeah tavian tried to get a few feed them a few couple of things and then noticed that they were having the same conversation that he had had with tola the first time he tried to get tola food so he immediately went ah yes well here's milk that'll ease the pain of the uh of the spicy tola liked spicy you don't okay then here's milk she ended up liking milk which just ooh, that's a nice texture said the words nice texture tavian just went oh i see where this is going here, try this, handed her a, a roasted marshmallow, which is something that's squishy and gooey, and she liked it, and then immediately complimented it, and then fucking Navi looked between the new dragon person, Tavian, Tola, back to Tavian, back to the dragon person, and the dragon person kind of made a pass at Tavian. <laughs> In front of Tola. But we didn't know what you were going to do with that, so... Shrug. There you go. There's the information. It wasn't even intended. It was more like someone made a comment of how it could be a thing. It was more like, oh, are you wanting to be to do the mating? As if it was just confused. And this was all decided by roles as well. If they liked something, if they didn't, and somehow this ended up becoming the same type of autistic as Tola is. Yeah. So how would they respond there, Tola, in that situation? In this case, and the truth is, I would have to describe it in the way that would make it more of a realistic thing. Mm -hmm. Why don't you roll an insight? Oh, boy. I say this for a lot of people, too, because I think one of the only people that might understand it very quickly, surprisingly, is Alexandria. And I say that because I know that Navi is very perspective, but Navi sees the whole world of things, you know? Mm hmm Where Alexandria uh, can sense, like, something off, you yeah, know? She That's was... their thing. They just they don't know if it, what it is. They just know something's off. Yeah, you were there at the time this comment was made, so you should roll it inside. Mm. Sure. Do it. Also, could you give me... Would... Tola have joined in the fishing. Yeah. I mean, it that sounds like she would. Then could you just uh, give me a four D20s real quick and we'll see if you caught anything interesting during this process. <laughs> no, no, then something, then something. But, uh, yeah, you just caught some regular fish. Suffice to say, mm -hmm. without a lot of insight, Alexandra has been preoccupied. For most of this trip. For D20 for funnies, funsy. But regardless. Um and I would I'm honestly happy that Tavia didn't get it. Alexandra might like I said, Alexandra just sees something. Now, Navi, help me out with your character a little bit. So is your character like an expert of like how people operate, or is it just kinda like no. they just see She just she can she just gets people sometimes. Yeah, she's also been oh, people not. watching for years. Mm-hmm. I think then it'd be a sad situation for you, Navi, in this case, because you don't know the full background of Tola, but you know nope. some just the things. Havian mm -hmm. knows it. A lot of people know it. Ellie might learn something from Tola in this case, because she only knew Tola when they were younger. But as Tavian gets this pass, and you're thinking, like, oh, it's like Tola is, is usually you would imagine like someone being jealous or someone being like making mm -hmm. a physical reaction. It seems like Tola makes this like numb thought, like face, where it's like very, you could tell it's like, oh, it's not that different from my, um, what I grew up with yeah. situation. Yeah. Uh what happened to that kind of interaction for Navi's sake when Tavian quickly shot that down? Mm -hmm. Very quickly. Then, if they saw that numbness were based, it's kind of like, oh, that's not that different. Shot it down. 
then it becomes this confusion where it's like, oh. oh. And then it's one of those situations where, like, well, that's the thing. It's like, they don't expect that. It's like, wait a minute. And then maybe Navi would see this moment where it's like, I think this raised moment of like, happy, but it's like, they don't realize it. Oh, I, I just realized, um, I, I've spoken to the elf, my nature, and my Navi. My Navi, that's, that's right. Or you can just call me Navi. Well, the word has power, so speaking, it, I can feel the power. And that, it's a nice tingle, but I feel like that could evoke something, so. Hmm. How about Nav for short? It, it doesn't involve the same tingle sensation. Hmm. Is that pleasant? No. It feels hollow. Ah, so you prefer the tingle. Uh, okay, Navi, then. Not hollow, but... A nod. And then I glance over to the quiet one. We've been neglecting to speak to the other one, the one that the elf seems to keep drawing their eyes to, you know, almost every moment. You didn't have to say that. You didn't have to say the quiet part out loud. You did not have to say the quiet part out loud. He says what walking quiet part? He says walking over to Tola and handing her a s'more. But it, it's what I have observed. Why should I not speak uh. of what they have observed? I don't think s s'mores were a thing Tavian made before, except a while ago. No, uh, they weren't made for Tola, specifically. You didn't take any, because at the time you were impaled. Yeah, you enjoyed marshmallows of themselves, but I don't think you've had the small variety. Yeah, you've not had the, uh, milk, uh, the uh, milk chocolate and the graham cracker with it, so you like marshmallows, we know that much. Let's see if you like the mix. <sighs> But I love the idea that you hand them this in their hand, and they just look like this situation of like daring, confused, but then all of a sudden they're like, shakes their head and be like, oh, um. And probably due to the intense heat of their hand, you see the chocolate start immediately start melting faster. You might want to eat and that the marshmallows quickly. Start to melt more. Yeah, you might want to eat that <laughs> quick. Um, 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 well. <laughs> Just the idea of a panicking tiefling throwing a fucking s'more at their face is so fucking funny to me. It's fucking adorable. And then she just swallows this thing and goes like... A bit crunchy. But also squishy. Pleasant, right? I would agree. And how does it feel for you to have your flesh mandibles moving when you taste things? They're usually quiet, so I was wondering if it also is a bit unpleasant for you. I didn't think about it too much. I usually think about just doing the bare minimum with it. I that would say sense. feels necessary. I guess it does feel necessary to have this focal tingle sensation to interact with others. Unless you could just directly peer into people's minds. That could be useful. Maybe I want to do that. I could learn to do that. Mentally connects to Alexandria and goes like floppy fish image in their head. Alexandra that, that having probably... swum off. Yeah, the, the, they're just kissing, suddenly you have a floppy fish in, in your head that ruins the moment. <laughs> uh, okay. Alexandra and Finn swam off to go like make out in a corner somewhere. I know their tokens are right there, but just the imagery of like, a, like fucking Tola getting kind of panicked and just going, uh, Alexandra, uh, a uh, floppy fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking funny to me. 
as long as they're 30 feet away from me, I can make it work. Yeah, they probably would be. I don't think they've gone that far out. Yeah. Oh god, that's even worse. It's like, what? Like, they were all uh, kissing on the beach when people were like five feet away from them. Alexandra, but... just off of the distance, you just hear, oh, you. <laughs> Confused face I... of Finn just looking back. No, it's got a weird mental image. Oh, well, then look at the person and being like, I don't think it's that useful. Oh, I think really? it's one-sided in my case. Oh, you can do it. Maybe if we practice, I can make it a two-way thing. Yeah. You teach me your ways, I can teach you my ways. Oh, but I haven't got a name. Do you have a tie to your existence that is understandable and has meaning? Or is it like the Rose Mall that is, has an arbitrary and confusing existence to it? Looks to Navi to be like, I don't understand, but they're not saying it, they're looking at Navi being like, can you translate? <laughs> uh, Navi shrug. Um... Sorta. No. Yes? And dear, they're asking... Yes, no, sorta. Dear, they're asking you if you have a name that means something. Oh. As in, such as my Navi is a, another word in a language that stands for Mother Nature. So, Navi here, my Navi, literally is Mother Nature. That's why she has the name. Whereas, I don't know, if you were to technically translate Ferex's name, his name stood for power. His last name, which she ended up taking after getting married, uh, was, well... And he'll just kind of sit there and think, I don't remember the name, but I remember it stood for justice. It was weird. Um, I mean, I it... won't lie. Technically, Tola is not my full name, but that's because I don't remember the full name of it. Oh. Huh. That's news. It's, it's the... What I remember so far from the name, the last time I remember hearing it fully was before I was taken in situations in that. I don't uh, even remember my last name, so I adopted the last name of my mentor. Ah. Uh, but, um, as far as I remember, something with red is what I would get it. Oh, jeez, it's one o'clock. Yep. She's just going to stand up and begin walking over the, the surface of the water to get closer to you, Tola. Leaning in for a moment and just taking a small sniff. If you don't know your true name and the name of Tola doesn't fit you, we could give you a name that feels right for you. I mean, it's really up to you. No. I go by with, and it looks to Tavian. Tola, I think you are fine the way you are. But it is her choice if you'd like one or not. It is. What do you think, Tola? I mean, no matter what you want to be called, I can just call you things like my love, my dear, darling. Hold on a moment. <laughs> nope, nope. Was the third one was darling. <laughs> None of those. Just yeah, it's like 
She's practically cringing at how mm, cringe mm, that was. Like, mm, so not that one, not that one, not that one. Booty cake. I don't even know that. It's very much it just. Hey, um, Alexandra will call out booty cake. I only know where the sound came from. She 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 is actually like Toby ages ago as well, so <laughs> I like... don't know, maybe that's a do you wanna roll for that one, Tola? <laughs> I don't think you should. <laughs> no, I don't want that one being a positive one. Mentally connects to Sir um to Alexandria. And when you said that, she just thinks of exactly what you just said. <laughs> Please roll with each funny. Just for my amusement. If I roll high, you have to justify it in a sense of like, you're being sentimental image of what you just described, and then how they would react. <laughs> um, I would like no. to use my inspiration. No! <laughs> Not on this! I hate you. <laughs> uh, I heard the... I heard the fucking... <laughs> What was called? Gonna... <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hey, hey, Alexandra. Hmm. It's a boot. <laughs> ah. I'm, ah. I'm, I'm picturing it came back to say that the thing actually has a positive reaction. It's just like, oh damn you, kicking the butt. <laughs> it's just a boot. <sighs> right. Ow. <sighs> I'm a bit confused. Is, is there a reason for all this? What's the word for this? Fantastic? No, it that's not is, even a word. This um, is how our uh, little group shows affection sometimes. I'm trying oh. to figure out what she likes to be called as a pet name, and that is apparently not it. You know, with my luck, literally calling you my pet would probably be better than literally everything else I just listed. So what about that one? No, that's good too. Good, perfect. Let's see. I feel like this. I don't think he's aware of like if she likes it or not. Mm. I just love uh, listing names. Yeah, he's trying. She's he's looking for some kind of reaction. If she's not giving one, he's equating that to either not great or uncaring. And he just, uh, no, well, no, no. Well, no. can I speak for a moment? Sure. We were talking about a name that I felt was. Fitting for your existence. Would you still like to hear what we thought functioned and worked for you? I mean, might as well. It's the. I'm always open eared. I'm. Effectively, in the tongue that you speak, it would translate to a splendor, flame, or fire. You have a warmth to you. Your eyes glimmer, and your complexion mirrors such your existence. And as they do speak the word, there is a small flicker of heat that seems to just flow around them for a moment before it fades. A name of power. Exactly. Oh, God. I'll think on that. Don't hate it too much. David, have you tried my harp yet? No. The dear heart. Would you like to be called my heart? Currently the highest so far besides booty cheeks. It is <laughs> booty cake. <laughs> specifically. Booty cake, and just, he just sighs. You know, you kind of like flashier things. My flower? Mm, no. It's not going your way. <laughs> she just keeps staring all like, you really have a lot of ideas for names. I do. I'm trying to see if I can get a reaction out of you, because the only time you ever smile is when you really like something. See, what so, other names could I go with? 
you just poke until you see her face split into that rised position. Arisen, risen, upturn. Mm -hmm. look, a smile looks like this, and he just smiles. Just a calm smile. You look like you're challenging me. No. Oh, right, animalistic. No. Uh, also, you don't have to show teeth when you smile. He closes his mouth and smiles. Now you just look uncomfortable. A little Do you bit. need to go to the bathroom? No. God. I have a second boot. I have a second boot. No, she doesn't understand. Alexander understands. I, I throw another boot. I throw another boot at Alexandra. Alexandra dies. Dies? <laughs> just dies? Or, or did you say dives. dives underneath the water? Mm -hmm. Damn. Boot misses. All right. I could think on the eye thing for a moment. Hold on, let me look at the thing. Oh, let me roll for it. To be fair, Gary, I forgot. Hold on. Oh, look at that. GM. Okay. Please, uh, put the... Please, what for? <laughs> uh, please, oh, Ein? Yes. Navi, uh, Navi whispers something to Tavian. Oh, I see that. Ah. Hmm. Uh, hmm. My Garnet or Fire Opal? Either of those. Garnet. Oh. She really likes Garnet. <laughs> Garnet. No, so I much. just love the idea that you just start using stones, and then so she just looks mm -hmm. like, huh? The the rogue inside her is peeking out, like, ooh, shiny. Mm -hmm. My garnet. Yeah. Really? Do you like garnets? Thinks on it for a moment. Apparently. Looks to Ellie and goes, I think. Um, if you remember, Giuliani liked his garnets on his mask. <laughs> I was thinking that you might be a kindred as well, like the others, and enjoy garnets in your heart. I think I or garnet. Granite, um, garnet. I mean, Garnet is okay choices. If you would like to switch your name to Ein, I'd be more than happy with that. I can learn the name. So, I'm calling you my lovely right little girl. Oh, yeah, no, trust me. Yeah, uh, it, I'm about to be done yeah. too. It's one thirteen. I gotta wake up in a few hours. Mm hmm. Not y'all. Night. Just Rest well. Uh, uh, Alexandra continues to smooch with Finn and just otherwise generally just be cute. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, rat. He had take it easy and was gone. Well, that's fine. Just last. You can honestly call me whatever you like. I picked Tola though, just because it was the last thing I remember being. Called, but I feel like it was only parts of it. It Honestly, wasn't Tolerate, think... was it? As a full name? Mm, it sounds more no. like it. Okay. Just want. Just to worry so, like, even... that it, it wasn't a meaning that was insulting. That's all you could remember from it. Honestly, it even could have been my last name, as far as I remember. I'm... So we'll. We could play with a couple things. Tola, tolerance. Oh, sorry, I'm just playing on words I could connect to it. I just shake my head. Well, seeing as you actually responded to Garnet, I can incorporate lovely little Garnet or things like that. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Typically, when talking about the gems, one would use the word precious. Oh, precious little Garnet. 
That's not bad. <laughs> Dragnia just takes a step back and have detested your scent and broken their water. Just sits on top of the water. D uh, d is it Dag Dagria or her name is spelt weird and looks weird? Is it Dagra? Dagra? Dagria. Dagria? You might need a I before that A. Nope. <laughs> That's just how it's spelt. That it's pronounced it can be. I mean, a few ways. I gotcha. I'm gonna have to get that memorized. I, I also have a list, so it might change next time just because my brain <laughs> refocused it. That's an issue I have with being as I am in existence. Right. Fair enough. Well, Tola, we're camping out here tonight. We're not going back to the house. Do you want to just go find a place, or do you want a tent, or do you want to try to sleep in the shack? Looks around. Where is everybody else going? Well, I know Finn and... Alexandra were thinking about doing the shack, but um, Navi's just going to sleep under the stars like she always does. I don't know about your... I look over to uh, Irregular and just... Where do you plan on sleeping? There are beds in the oh, shack, they said. Considering my age, it's probably best that I take a rest in the shack. Okay. As much as I'll enjoy seeing the stars under the sky, just keeping warm is probably the best suit for What do you say, my mm. precious Garnet? And as she was about to respond, that fort makes her think when you say that. It's one of those moments where she pauses. I will avoid the shack for I think I'll be too loud. <laughs> she just blinks. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey, Navi, how far does this island go back? <laughs> I do not know. Navi was going to explore. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He picks Toll up and just starts walking. <laughs> Man, Navi is no longer going to explore. <laughs> ah, you're going to enjoy mating. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, yeah, please stop talking. <laughs> Let's stay far the fuck away from me. I do not understand why I've never even come close to you. Uh, yep. And just <laughs> irregular. Please take care of Tina. Just she's got plenty of drawing materials and things in the shack to keep her entertained. I'm going to assume she went off to play with Ruby. <laughs> yep. Yeah, on that note, I'm going to bed. And that's not exactly where I expected that conversation to go, but all right. <laughs> he well. was just going to tease her. <laughs> mm hmm. Paula was saying it might be too loud because of Alexandria and Finn, but it was taken out of context. It was. <laughs> she said it the way she said it. And he goes, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> because Tave here is home. <laughs> Paula does not correct, but she's like, oh, well, he listened. He's taking me away from the shack. It might be too loud. Makes sense. <laughs> See, the oh, funny boy. thing about that misunderstanding is hilarious, given the context of what I know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, good night, everybody. <laughs> Rest well, my friend. Can't wait to throw this on the fucking recording. Yay, I get to upload two recordings tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. The power Thanks. went out mid-session. Mid yeah, so. we'll, we'll get into this.